But you got it in the race, the old-fashioned way, the lottery. Obviously, you know, as John pointed out, you won a bunch of other races after that that would have got you in the lottery. Tell us about, though, in December, were you actually paying attention to the lottery, and were you wanting to be chosen? I was. I wanted to do this race for about two years, so I was pretty psyched. And then I didn't have any pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Awesome. Um, tell us a little about the day today. Um, early on, I mean, you led a lot of the race, but early on, I think you know, Emily Harrison was out there as well. Um, when did you take over, and how did the race progress after you took over? Um, I took over at about 33 miles, and then just um, I'm pretty good at downhills, so um, that favored me. Um, so I just kind of cruised down and just tried to keep the, picking up each nice. Um, what were, you know, you, you've come here and you've run in the canyons before. What was it like today to get in there? Um, you know, it was a coolish day, um, but I know the heat was perhaps a concern for you. How did you handle that in there? Um, it was a concern coming in into the race, but it wasn't too hot today, so I felt great. Um, I actually felt better today than on any of the training runs I did here. Um, I just fueled well, and I started slow, <laughs> um, which is what I wanted to do. So. And I've, I've had some great mentors who um, told me about the course and gave me um, tips on how to run 100 miles. So that made a big difference. Stephanie, and then, you know, you're such an outstanding athlete, and you've done a lot of things. Still, though, it was that element of never running 100 miles. How did you deal with that mentally so it wouldn't kind of overtake the day, like, you know, you're at the point where, oh my goodness, now I've run 100K long distance, maybe my longest ever. Now I've run 70 miles, the longest I've ever run ever. How did that play out for you? Yeah, I was nervous to see how my body was going to respond. Um, but I just kept taking good care of myself. I fueled well, I um, hydrated well, and I was definitely nervous when I got to about 65 miles, because that's my limit, up until today. And honestly, no one was more surprised than me um, to cross the finish line first today. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. What was it like for you seeing the lights of the stadium here getting close? Um, what were some of the emotions that you were feeling knowing that, yeah, you were going to win the race? I was excited. Um, I had a big grin on my face and I couldn't wait to go around the track. <laughs> when, when, when you were running with your pacer there, I mean, obviously good. You guys get along very well. Um, <laughs> were you guys discussing anything at that point? Um, trying to maintain the good form, looking good for everybody, or just trying to savor, you know, the moment of being here after a long day's work? Uh, just trying to savor the moment. Which you guys did. One last thing. Um, <laughs> I know this is a tough question after you run 100 miles, and I'm forcing you to stand here. Do you think you'll come back next year and maybe, you know, defend your title? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stephanie Howe.